the the roughest, toughest fighting this bitch by fighting Scotty, but you should have bought them on Krishan. That's the bitch we should have fought because that's the bitch who was fucking overly touching you and doing all that weird shit. That's the bitch you should have bugged up on, but. Uh -huh, bitch, try again. Oh, you too. You bitches can't even spell the shit y'all be trying to spell. Like, it might just be she Paris. Bitch, don't play with me. Oh shit. Big ass bag of chicken. <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't know. Somewhere. Mm. Um, gang outside, gang outside, and that like gang outside, bang. I really like our host of uh, actual show. Stand up. Oh, shit. Gang gals. Mm. He said, I got my miska, muska, mouska, too. Oh, it just a little bit. I got my miska, muska, mouska, too. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ah, but I got my miska, muska, mouska, too. Uh, don't nobody have no like question. What? When, you, when we posted our picture, that shit had 400. No, I'm saying don't like, ever like my banana or something that everybody won't like. Are oh, you liking a bitch of me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Baddies. Because everybody want to know about the baddies. And about Razor. <laughs> What's going on, insane game? Since we back in another fucking video, bitch. Um, as of right now, we were putting live from the, um, this hotel room. Uh, it's currently the day after Valentine's Day, so you already know what the fuck. Is going on if you don't know what the fuck going on go ask your mama go ask your daddy about how the fuck you got here um this was the look for valentine's day you know very manly lady so it's like i come in and be like that nigga not gonna be like reveal girl you know boom boom do then it's a night i wanna dance you know in the comments give me um break the look one ten break the look one ten Make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram at JNSanity for more updates. I had a competition last night to perform for Gloss. Unfortunately, I did not win, but I was the best. So I don't understand. It's like, how can I lose them? I already chose. <laughs> I was the best. Like, bitches was doing splits. I'm gonna put the footage. I'm gonna put the footage in the motherfucking video. And y'all tell me, does it like that's a winning form? Because I know goddamn well, bitch, I did my shit. Because I always do my shit. But they weren't trying to give it to the bitch because y'all know I won last time. So they trying to say I was trying to be a little greedy because I was gonna get it again. Bitch, I'm gonna fuck. Bitch, I'm hungry. Bitch, this is music. Bitch, you gotta be hungry if you got a music career. Yeah, bitch, I came to win again. And bitch, I was best dressed again. And bitch, I was best performance again. And bitch, act like they didn't want to give me my motherfucking slot. But I locked in with somebody else. That was there that seen me perform. That's gonna um, put me in another competition to open up for Glorilla. So I was gonna open up for Gloss, but now I'm in a new competition to open up for Glorilla. So fuck that other <laughs> Glorilla, Trippy Red, and um, somebody else. That's my next competition, and it's gonna be new people. So it's gonna be you know fresh energy because you know when. When you get around bitches and you keep winning all up in their face, they start to hate and it's nothing they can do. So it is what it is. I lost, but I still won. Cause I always win, period. We're gonna get to the motherfucking Betty episode. Um one, this episode wasn't really 
it didn't give me much like I wasn't entertained. Um, so it's not really much to talk about what didn't much happen but them being on the bus. And then Razor It's just like how the cookie be crumbling. You just have so much respect and likeness for somebody and then for just the all go away. <laughs> Love the Razor before she started doing all this extra shit like girl. You was thinking it like, I love your personality. Like, we liked you because you was a cool, laid back, like, motherly boss ass bitch. Like, you not giving that. You giving that drunk friend that you just, you know, that drunk friend that you just can't take outside no more because they just be drunk and doing all that other shit, start razoring and acting like razor just want to be yelling and, bitch, I don't like just screaming. And then you let Scotty bang you, girl. What? You let Scotty bang you, girl. What? Bitch, I what you let Scotty bang you out of all bitches you let Scotty give you that no shade Scotty been Scotty said bitch this season you hoes gonna you hoes gonna know my name I ain't Scotty with the naughty no more bitch I'm giving out the knots and she showed it gave that bitch a knot right here but girl basically she fucking um touched her pussy <laughs> she allegedly touched her pussy but meanwhile Krishan was fucking macking her shit like the whole time like titties ass licking her all, all type of shit right next to the bitch this bitch grazed her coochie lips with two fingers and then this bitch is like bill cosby save me bitch so she goes crazy now and she just like bitch stop touching me stop touching me now i understood what she, what she swung on sky on the bus when i said because if i'm already telling you not to touch me because like, I have this problem too sometimes. Like, I'm a gay boy. P bitches be thinking they can just like touch me all crazy, like grab me, my grab my dick, my ass. And it's like, I don't give a fuck to a certain extent. But if you just like raping my ass, like, I'm gonna need you to calm down because it'd be some of these straight girls that be getting drunk trying to get their life out of gay boys because they don't can't get no nigga. So, like, this is the closest kind of affection they can get to a nigga. And they'll be like, oh, rubbing on you and like touching you and shit. And the whole time be low key getting turned on. And it just be like, Girl just be too much. So I understand her coming from a place where she don't want to be touching motherfuckers, like sexualizing her. But girl, be fucking for real. Like she ain't fucking like put her whole fist in your coochie. And you know, I'm I'm not victim shaming at all. But it's like we don't see her doing this. Like I don't see her, I don't see her put touching your vagina at all. Like it's a fucking show. Like it would have showed clear as day her touching your vagina. Like she did touch her like panties and like move move her panties with like, a tattoo, which is too much also. But it's just like. It's not that deep. Like, they was in her tongue kissing. Like, they was... Everybody was hitting each other ass. Like, I don't think it was that deep. But, I mean, I can't, you know... You know, tell her what her trigger is saying. What she's, you know, going through isn't... You know, can't be... Y'all know what the fuck I'm trying to say. All that motherfucking shit that you gotta say when you a bitch to be a victim and you can't say this shit like that. Bitch, that's what I'm saying. All right? I'm saying, in general, if she was gonna bug up, why you get your ass beat? That's what I'm saying. If you was that serious about your body and you were just you are you protecting yourself, you lost the fight. You let Scotty <laughs> mink your ass up. And then you want to scream about bring her down here. I don't want to get bitches. Bitches like Razor. Razor. Razor, girl, Razor. Razor. I don't like this. And I hope you redeem yourself. Because right now you down, you just like you giving me like drunk extra bitch vibes and you too cute for that like even when you was drunk the scenes like you looked cute while you was acting a fool but it was just giving like you don't need to be doing all this like it looks like you trying to like get a moment and when bitches like purposely be trying to get themselves a moment it's very you know visible like you very can like tell that a bitch is really just trying to get her moment you're trying to get her moment so I say get your moment another way. Like, you was already getting your moment, like, just being funny. Like, I was already living for you just being regular. So, you trying to, like, get your moment by being the the roughest, toughest fighting this bitch by fighting Scotty. But you should have bought them on Krishan. That's the bitch you should have fought because that's the bitch who was fucking overly touching you and doing all that weird shit. That's the bitch you should have bugged up on. But there's no here or there. I want to just continue the stunner argument, bitch. Literally, that's the whole time I'm asking where the fuck is stunner because... This is the Stunner show. Stunner this, Stunner that, baby. That's what we came to see. And Stunner was literally not in this episode nowhere to be found. Like, she was nowhere to be found. Like, Stunner literally took a whole break. Like, and I guess it's probably the time when she got sick. Because I remember it was a time when she was getting sick or whatever. And she was probably, like, off the show. But, yeah, that's basically what the fuck happened. Um, Next episode, don't even like it's no drama. They finna perform and shit. Y'all know everybody got their little faux fast on. They finna perform. 
Krishan, Tommy, well, no, Roly actually can rap, mind you. Um, who else performed, man? And then DJ Sky, she the DJ. Oh, DJ Sky, girl. I only, I'll be forgetting you be there. Like, why is DJ Sky here? Because you talking about you supposed to be keeping Krishan in check, but Krishan be checking the fuck out of you like every other thing. <laughs> like, you literally like Krishan dog. I don't know what your purpose is of you supposed to be somewhere like looking after Krishan when you Krishan is whooping ass. That's the same shit she was doing last season. So that means you're failing at your job. So that means you should be fired and sent home immediately. Give that bitch a pink slip. That's what I fucking video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, y'all. Um, it wasn't really much for me to get into this episode. Um, I got some fruit somewhere. You know, I got some motherfucking liquor. So, you know, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my Valentine's Day. I hope y'all having a good Valentine's Day. Me and my toxic ass ex just posted each other on social media. So all of our hoes are currently blowing up our phones right now. And we just in this hotel room chilling and kicking it. So if you one of my hoes trying to like figure out where the fuck I'm at, I still love you though. But you my man because I got a man. But you can still be my hoe. You just can't be my man. But you can be my hoe, but you can't be my man. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, don't come here, y'all. Follow me on social media, my Facebook, Instagram, my Snapchat, my movie, fuck shit, my day, basically, I do not want to see that. All at is J A Y letter insanity. My new song, uh, your, I was going to say merch. Merch is already out. Stream merch. But your is coming out next for the gays. Uh, uh, so I will be in the motherfucking studio getting y'all some behind the scenes footage of when that's going to be dropping for you guys. That's the motherfucking video. And singing to Sweet Out. I'm going to get some black and